What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Asia. And it's your boy, BJ. And, and we, we back, back like, like we, we never left. left. We appreciate y'all for pulling up. And you already know how it goes over here. Family for real over here. Just letting y'all know that. No, real over everything, okay? okay real okay. over everything. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> hey, I'm rocking with that too, though. I'm just saying. You know? Yeah. And uh, we appreciate y'all for pulling up, <laughs> tuning back in, and showing us major love. Uh, we're going to be checking out a Bronx Tale tonight. Yeah. And uh, while we're chilling on the couch, we got some popcorn popped. Uh, we got a couple of drinks, some water, and uh, we're going to be getting into it today. And uh, we actually got to give one of our uh, VIP supporters major, major love for making this suggestion on this movie, too. Yeah, shout out to Matthew. We need the cheering thing. What? Uh, oh. oh. Okay, not that. No, nah, don't, don't, don't put me out like Don't do me like that. <laughs> don't do me like that. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. Okay. Uh, but, you know, uh, the last movie that we did, because someone was telling us to do a Bronx Tale after we did uh, The Goodfellas. Yeah. Which, which, yeah. I, I was going to say that. I've actually seen a couple requests for this, so I'm so glad. Matthew's like, y'all have to check it out. Okay? Hands down. No question. No. That's it. Hey. you got to watch it. So, shout out to you, Matthew. Thank you so much for supporting us, holding us down. Being a part of the fam, okay, it's so so. And I think I think when we watched, I think when we watched the other movie, it was they were in the Bronx too. I don't remember. We watched Goodfellas. I know they say East New York. I don't I thought, know. I you know, it was the like Bronx too. you know, like when you say that though, like I started thinking about like Sopranos, like East Coast, New Jersey, New York, the boroughs. Yeah, like you know what I mean. That part. And a lot of people, always, <laughs> and a lot of people always tell me like, out of all five boroughs, like the Bronx is like one of the hardest ones to come up out of. Yeah. I don't know. Somebody got to tap in. Somebody got to let us know on the East Coast how it is over there. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna be checking this one out. So I can already tell. Uh, just from the title that we're going to be checking out something from the Bronx. Yeah, yeah, y'all. So make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Smash that notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asia and BJ. Y'all can tap into the Patreon. Check out all of our unedited, uncut videos as well as our behind-the-scenes footage, Patreon polls, and access to all of our TV series. I was like, <laughs> wait, what's next? <laughs> access to all of our TV series, y'all. So tap in. Check it out. It's a great time, okay? As a matter of fact, we need to go ahead and put our next Patreon poll out so the fam can vote on what we do next. You okay? go, girl. I'm just saying. You didn't you didn't miss one Shoot. word. You got hey, you you are already on point. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So let's go ahead and jump into this video. I have no idea what this is about, but because you said good fellas. Yeah, when we did good fellas, everybody was like, We need to check out a Bronx Tale, Casino, yeah. Godfather, like all like all of those movies. All movies I've not seen. So and because and Goodfellas actually was a really good movie. So I'm looking forward yeah, to watching this. Yeah, I was Yeah, y'all. So let's go ahead and tap into this video. It was 1960, and doo -wop was the sound on the streets. Stay no, the doo -wop. Right off of East 187th. That's the Shea Bippy. That's where all the guys hung out. But I'll tell you about them later. They got all the suits and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> you would hear the sounds of young Italian men romancing their women. Hey, yeah. Marie! Get in the fucking car! <laughs> <laughs> Typical. <laughs> these are, are romancing their girls. Everybody loves Sonny and they treated him like a god. Sonny. Robert De Niro. We know that name, Robert De Niro. Look at them playing with the stick. That's back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> huh. I could not hit a ball with a stick like <laughs> not that. Not like that, right? It has to be a bat. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of your favorites, cheese pizza. Yes. <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> you see that? Mm-mm. Typical kids. Trying to hit your free ride. Take off running. Everybody run. Look. Right 
Okay. Look like he got on an Indian's jacket with a Yankees hat on. Mm. Unless my eyes are deceiving me. Oh, this is directed by him too. Oh wow. Robert De Niro. Mm-hmm. I didn't know he directed movies. Hmm. Look like he shouldn't you be down it? there. Oh no, that's not an Indian's jacket. I know he not like walking home. I mean, what? I mean. Yeah, he just got off with his dad dropped him off. He said, "Go straight upstairs." He went downstairs. <laughs> uh oh, it's grown folks up in there. Grown folks handling grown folks business. They called him Tony Toupe because he wore the worst hairpiece in the world. I was certainly about to say he had some good hair. hair. Eddie Mush was a degenerate gambler. He was also the biggest loser in the whole world. They called him Mush because everything he touched turned to mush. Never mind any my love. I need a winner. He would go to the racetrack and the teller would give him his tickets already ripped up. <laughs> what are you doing here? Didn't we tell you a million times not to come here? Come on. I'm already loving her accent. I know. I, literally. <laughs> Your mother told me she caught you by the bar today. I was by the bar. Tell your father the truth. Uh, I was by the bar. So then why'd you lie? I took a shot. Want to do something here? What am I going to say? Took a shot. shot. Nice try, son. Thanks, Dad. Lorenzo, come on. Please. Um, Is he not the cutest kid? <laughs> Look what I got. Two tickets, Yankee Stadium, center field. Behind the mic? Oh, that's a little boy's dream. For their dad to take him to the ball game. Yeah. That's Phil the peddler. Uh -huh. You call everybody Mary, and me and my friends would love to break his balls. <laughs> Typical game. Don't go that phrase again. <laughs> he said you marries. Oh, they some little troublemakers. Guys, check it out. Come here, who's this? Look, look, they practice on emulate it. <laughs> Jimmy Whispers. 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 <laughs> I can't even talk like that. You know it gotta be over some money, right? Shit. These niggas got some bulls coming in our neighborhood. Oh, oh. Fuck out our neighborhood, you fucking niggas. Go back to our family where you came from. And see, that's, you know, it, it's still the 1960s, too. Yeah. So, you know, like, the racial tension is still kind of high. What the fuck is wrong with you? What you doing? Fuck you, you free hole. Fuck you, you scumbag. You're a real motherfucker. What you fucking head? Oh. You see why New York is so hard? <laughs> they do not play. Oh! Oh, look at Sonny. Okay, I'm going to go in the house. Oh, Sonny put it to him. Look, just think about being a nine-year-old, and this is what you see when you come outside. Dang, look. I couldn't hear. All I could see was Sonny with the gun in his hand. I just knew Sonny wasn't, just wasn't a nice guy. You could just look at Sonny and tell he not nice. Oh, Sonny running things. There's fucking over a parking space. Over a parking over space? Over a parking space, Daddy, why? It wasn't over a parking space. They just met at the wrong time in their lives. Well, what kind of answer is that? He could have got just killed. Just leave it alone. Let's mind our own business. He's okay. That's the main thing. I can't believe somebody would do this. Oh, oh. It was more than a parking space. Police, is this the another residence? Oh, come on. Uh-oh. Yeah, can I help you? We're detectives. We'd like to ask you some questions. I ain't seen nothing, though. There was a shooting in front of the building a little while ago, and we believe your son was there. Really? Well, he don't know nothing about that. Oh, we feel he does. There were people who saw him. Well, they're wrong. He don't know nothing. Listen, Mr. Nello, we could do things the nice way, or we could do things the hard way. All right? We can go down to headquarters. Okay, what way you do it? He don't know nothing. Daddy, I know everything. Uh oh. All I want you to do is pick out the person you saw with the gun in his hand. That's it. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You could walk with Officer, is he going to be okay? Everything's going to be fine, dear. They'll be back in two minutes. Oh, man. I don't know if I want my kid involved. Not, not with Not Sonny. with that kind of business. No, 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 okay. no, 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 no. Everybody knows Sonny on the block. Yeah, like I said, it's not with Sonny. Look, everybody looking at him, too. So if he tell, they're going to know exactly... Who did it? Look, at everybody's looking, too. Look, look, the friends. Even friends. Everybody at the store. 
See, this is why people don't snitch. Because <laughs> <laughs> everybody knows it. And they know if you're told. Right. Look, look, look. Them sunny people. Yeah. They the, they the main ones. Straight ahead, you. How about this guy? <laughs> oh, it's your one, him. How about him? Little meathead. It wasn't him. <laughs> Yeah, this is how they used to do it back in the day? Like, <laughs> hey. just right outside on the street like that. The street line up. He don't even want to say him. He, he, he just hard to look at. <laughs> look at this guy. How about him? Is it him? Uh, um... Satisfied, officer? No, I'm not satisfied. You don't know. <laughs> I'm not satisfied. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> Look how Sonny looking. I did a good thing, right? Yeah, you did a good thing. You did a good thing for a bad man. <laughs> He's had a good thing for a bad, bad man. man. All I knew was a rat was the lowest thing anyone could be in my neighborhood. Mm. And I didn't rat. Well, I didn't want to rat on Sonny, okay? Right. Of all people. Daddy, why did you say it's a good thing for a bad man? Because sometimes in life you got to do certain things that you got to do even though they're not right. Hmm. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, it's just that I thought I did the right thing. And now I'm not sure I did. You did do the right thing, and when you get older, you'll understand why. Mm. He learned a valuable lesson today. He learned a valuable lesson. World Series base set in oh, the block, block popping too. Every day. Charlie back. Tell you, when look, look. Look, no, he gave him the nod then. He know his son now. <laughs> I ain't dropping my kid off either. Get right upstairs, son, and watch the rest of the game. Get right upstairs. No hanging out, son. You see how protective they all of them? Uh-huh. Look how they all looking though. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Keep driving, I want to talk to you. <laughs> I'd like to do something for you. All you got to do is drop some numbers off us. You're going to get $150 a week. And you're going to have to bus. Well, Tom, I appreciate it, but I got a city job. If I get pinched, I could lose it. Please think about it. I just can't do it. It's not for me, so. $150 a week? That's not pretty good. <laughs> not in the 60s. <clears throat> and he gave it up. And he said no. Mm-hmm. I think I said, don't forget it. I don't know. It's not for me. Look how she like, shoot. <laughs> so we could get up out of here. You think I should have took it? I don't know. It's like she ain't trying to say no. Come on, Sonny wants to see you. Come on. Come on. Nobody's going to grab the bike. Come on. Uh-oh. He said, Sonny wants to see you. What is a little teacup? <laughs> Sit down. No, he's not. I'm going to just stand right no, here. Me. Sit over here next to me. Mister, sir. Not across the table. He said sit next to me, though. <laughs> okay. Did you shoot that man over parking space? When you get older, you understand. That's what his dad said. <laughs> Must be a lot for me to learn. I kiss her and she kiss me. Wait a minute. Fella. All right. He hanging out in the pool hall? Oh, you know what's going on down there. Right. Look, look. Oh, man. That's fucking I'm in, I'm in. Go ahead. Come on. I'm in, I'm in. Oh, they're going to do with the bad luck. No, he was just a bad loser. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have to look. Oh, what that mean? Oh. <laughs> the kid's going to throw the dice at me. Get him over. I don't let like this kid throw the dice. Hey, hey. Anybody got a problem with that? That's all right, no problem. No, no. no he, go ahead. How much you want to bet he throw a seven? Anything you want, Sonny. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of money on right? this one. 
you stop shit. fucking leaning on me, please? <laughs> and he's, oh, you're dropping sweat. He's sweating and everything. I don't want your money in the same way. Oh, my money's no good no more. Why? Why? Because you're a fucking jinx. That's why. Here, put him in a fucking bedroom. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. He said put him in the bathroom. He got bad luck vibes all over him. Come on, man. Hit the wall. Oh, Oh, he got seven. Bring the dice up. Put a thousand dollars in the sun. <laughs> Let him do it again. <laughs> Joe, Joe, stop fucking breathing on me. You're killing me over here. I'm on a fucking wind streak. Stop breathing on me, huh? Bobby, put him in the bedroom. Sonny, Daddy Moose is in there. He ain't gonna fit. I don't give a fuck. Put him in. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> put him oh. in there. Sweaty salami. Look, no, babe. <laughs> and I gotta sit in there. I have no Look, idea. They got him in her gambling. How this game even goes. So I'm like. He got to hit four again. If he hit four again, he wins. Oh, okay. No way he's going to hit it again. That's too much pressure. No, no, no. That's right. I want anybody laughing at this kid, all right? Nobody laughing at him. Laughing no, at seven. him. Sevens are not good now. All I know is a seven. <laughs> I'm like him. Yeah, I'm going for the seven. I'm going for the seven. Frankie coffee cake, no good. I don't want his face looking at that face when he's throwing my dice. No, no, no. <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy coffee get a cake. towel from the bar. Put it over his you head. You got a towel over there? Come on, Sonny. They're going to cover his face up. Put him in the bathroom. Put him in the fucking bathroom. Get him out of here. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I promise you that's going to be my thing. Put him in the bathroom. <laughs> He's like, I want him looking at his face. Look at his three of them in there now. They really for real standing in there. Just make the point. Go ahead. Come on. Yeah. Oh. Did he do it? Yes. I made 11 passes in a row. What? 11 in a row? He would always say that the working man was a sucker. And I was going to the best school in the world. The University of Belmont. <laughs> he kissed him. <laughs> I bet they loving this kid right now. Look, look. He like, <laughs> yes. He kissed him again. Yes. You did good. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I get? Yeah. All right? <laughs> From now on, your name is C. C? That's right, C. Hey, Colangelo. <laughs> Come on up. Something like that. I mean C. Look. <laughs> He's not married anymore. I've got some nice peaches for your mom. I don't have any money on you, Phil. You don't need nobody with me, kid. Just tell Sonny that I took care of you. <laughs> Remember, he was cussing them out at first. Yeah. Ch trying to chase them away. It was because of Sonny that everybody was treating me so nice. I liked it. He liked peaches. Got me some dang on peaches. For free. What's this? What's what, Dad? Where'd you get this? Your mother found this behind your drawer. It's money that I've been saving, Dad. Six hundred dollars you've been saving? Six. Six. Dad, I worked for it. Doing what? Things. Things? <laughs> He said things. I woke the crap kids and the class gave me tips. Uh-oh. Taking this money back. I'm bringing it right back down to the bar. Well, let's just think about this for a minute. <laughs> That's $600. Come on. Wait a minute. Oh. Listen to me. I mean, $600 is $600. I know. You probably have been telling me that too. But, babe, that's, that's $600 though. Wait a minute. We can just be mad together. <laughs> but we, we need that $600. <laughs> oh. I wonder how this finna turn out. We can't accept that. I didn't give it to you. I gave it to your son. He worked for me. That's right, my son. And I don't want my son involved in what goes on here. Involved in what? What are you talking about? Please, I'm not a stupid man, okay? Please, I'm not stupid. You know what I'm talking about. Just stay away from my son, okay? Hey, you stay right over here. See, why don't you go outside? I want to talk to your father. I'll speak to my own son. Claudio, wait outside. <laughs> <laughs> You're a stand-up guy. We're from the same neighborhood. 
but don't ever talk to me like that again. Okay. Yeah. He tried to throw away his baseball cards the other day because he said Mickey Mantle will never pay my rent. <laughs> <laughs> stay away from my Get son. Get out of here before I give you a fucking yeah. slap. You just you stay away from my son. Go ahead. No, he ain't scared of Sonny. Dad, please listen to I me. I said you'll stay away from him. Dad, listen to me. Did you hear what I said? Oh. Everybody loves him, just like everybody loves you on the bus. It's the no. same thing. No, it's not the same. People don't love him. They fear him. There's a difference. Wow. Oh. I mean, but that's a that's a good lesson to show him, though. I mean, as a father and a son, you know. Mm -hmm. That's not that's not money that you want to have. And most people scared of Sonny. Everybody's scared of Sonny. And that's not the way that you should want to make it. You know what I mean? Hey. Aqueduct racetrack. Hey. It was now. Ooh. Wow. Going. We got it. White you hold. You hold. Aaron. Look at this horse go. Let's go walk. Come on, baby. Let's Take go. it off. Oh, that's Look. him. Yeah. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, it looked like it's over. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Get up. He bet the fucking horse. He bet kryptonite. Come on. Give me the tickets. Yeah, but Sonny, we're winning. Come on. We can't win. Who should bet kryptonite? Fucking jinx. Put him in the bathroom. Oh, he jinxed him. Oh, you bet he's there. Come on, take it home. Oh, he did. He lost. He no. No. Oh, they knew it. They knew he lost. <laughs> He bad luck. I got a tip in the next race for you. Go oh, fuck yourself. <laughs> oh, you can't catch him nowhere around you. <laughs> Period. No. Oh, I'm loving these songs. They playing the jams, ain't they? Yeah. Look at the hair. I know. <laughs> you want to know if you can trust a girl and she's good enough to marry? She's got to pass the test. I call it the Mario test. Mario. <laughs> Jump on the highway, you pull right up to one of the big fucking 18 wheelers on the highway, right? You pull right alongside of it, you get the attention of the driver. Honk your horn, do what you got to do. Make sure he's looking at you. That's important. Now, at the same time, you put your hand behind this fucking broad's head and you start pushing her head down firmly between your legs. <laughs> what? If this girl goes down on the old garage yard, knowing that that guy in the truck is watching, yeah. then she's a pig and she can't be trusted. It's not gonna no. work. It'll sick never maniac. work. You're a sick maniac. You need some help. And when they get into it, they do something with their hand. They throw their hair over their ear. They did it before. He said they. <laughs> they done did it before. He said they did it before. Stop. Who gives a fuck? Who gives a fuck? I give stop. He's the I care. They didn't bother you. Come on, man. Today it's boy car. Next week it's two cars. You know what? They're fucking in there. And then they're fucking on board. They shouldn't be coming through anyway. Period. That's the Invite them in and make them have a drink. Yeah, like, Come on, let them have a shot. Baseball bat their fucking heads. <laughs> Y'all worried about the wrong dang old thing. Dad, do we have to listen to this music? It gives me a headache. Your common typical kid, huh? Or teenager now, right? right? Look how he looking at her. <laughs> oh, he sees something he like. As <laughs> you roll the eyes a little bit, starts. <laughs> Listen to how the music changed. He like, bye, girl. So, but and, and she turned around and looked again. I'll be back on this bus, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be back on this bus. 
And she was beautiful. And she was classy. But she was black. And that was a no-no in my neighborhood. He like, that's a no-no. It's fear that keeps them loyal to me. But the trick is not to be hated. That's why I treat my men good, but not too good. I give them too much, then they don't need me. Mm. I give them just enough where they need me, but they don't hate me. Man, he putting them on some wisdom, some no? Game. He like, putting some like game, an OG, you know? right? Like an OG. What did he say? I don't know. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Oh. 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 Oh, gosh. Look. <laughs> oh. Even the big guy. Look. <laughs> no. Oh, look, he got down. <laughs> I would do the same thing, man. Oh, they dropping like flies. <laughs> Did you see him grab his hair? <laughs> yeah. Let me get my whistle. Let me get, that's Tony Toupee. Oh, they dropping. Oh. Oh, it's over. Oh, Ove, man. it's Ove. Oh, he tap dancing like he Gregory Hines. Oh, oh. Look, now the whole neighborhood. Everybody tap dancing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All of them. That's how you enforce respect right there. Okay. Want to go fight with me tomorrow? Huh? Uh, I don't know. Well, I got a piece of a good middleweight. You come with me, we sit in front. I like to come and everything, but it's just that I already told my father I'd go with him. Well, you know what I'm saying. You come by yourself. You know his father ain't gonna. His, his father ain't going for that either. Let you just come by and say hi. <laughs> Look, they all the way in the back. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> oh, oh, by the wall. Nice seats, Dad. I gotta be careful. To the window, to the wall. Hey, said, these are the best I can do. What do you want from me? He said, nice seats. Look, so, look, you're saying. <laughs> Sonny up there by the ring. I'll bring you over here. The first thing you want to do is go down with them. Well, then go with them. Think I want to sit here with you when you want to be with them? How do you think that makes me feel? Hmm. Sorry if I hurt you, Dad. You know, he, he still has a lot of respect for his father. Uh, a ton. A ton of respect. I used to make <clears throat> my get my voice right. I can do that too. Oh yeah. To find. Oh look! I couldn't believe it. There she was, right in front of me. I never forgot her since the first day I saw her on my father's bus. I wanted to talk to her, but she was with her friends and I was with mine. You like that smile? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, he got like the little puppy eyes. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. What you saying? Nothing but room and opportunity. Mm -hmm. What the hell, right? Yeah. He looking all smooth and stuff with his hat on. Okay, come on now. I said to myself, she must have an exotic name like 
like Monique or Danielle. <laughs> Monique. <laughs> I'm about to choke on <laughs> Asia. <laughs> He's an exotic name. <laughs> I'm Jane. Jane, that's it? That's your name? Yeah. What's wrong with that? No, 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 nothing, nothing. It's a great name. I love that name. Me, I'm Cologido. Cool. Cologido. Cologido. I like Italians. You do? Mm-hmm. Dang. It's no problem. I could walk you home. Okay. I live down Webster Avenue. Oh, Is Webster. Is that all right? That's no problem. Come on, let's go. Okay. Look, she got the tic-tac-toe on her notebook. Yeah, remember that back then? Yeah. <laughs> you have beautiful eyes. That's the same thing I said. <laughs> Do you want to go to the movies? Dang. Movies? You want to go to the movies with me? Yeah. I told you I like the Italians. You want to go right now? No, of course not now. How about... Tomorrow, six o'clock. You want me in front? All right, I'll be waiting here until tomorrow then. He's I'll be waiting here until tomorrow. Uh oh. These books are heavy. <laughs> That's why I'm glad you're carrying them. They still walking down Webster Avenue. Uh oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, well I'll let you go. All right, right well here. here go your books. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go. Tomorrow night, six o'clock. <laughs> you're getting better. I guess back then there was no need to say, I need your digits. Can I get the digits, right? right? I'll just see you tomorrow at 6 o'clock. Yeah. But he's smart, though, he said. Uh-oh. He pretty street smart. He knew he he knew he can walk all the way down there. What the fuck is it with you and these niggas lately? They ain't bothering nobody. They fucking bothering me. They ain't bothering me. He's still going at it. I want to kill him. Man. He killed us. The cops are coming. Fuck that. The cops are coming. Oh, man. Just for riding down the wrong neighborhood. I met this girl. Yes, sir. I like her and everything, but she, she ain't white. She's from Webster Avenue. You like this girl? I do, but I don't want to hear all the guys. I don't want to hear Fuck their mouths. Fuck those kids. <laughs> You're only allowed three great women in your lifetime. Look. They come along like the great fighters once every 10 years. Maybe this girl, she put wind in your cells. Maybe she's your first great one. Oh, he a OG for real. You give him my. Just like <laughs> they all got these. This could be one of the great ones. Bullshit, kid. The door test, that's what counts. It's the door test. I ain't never heard of the door test before. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, did I pass the door test? I don't know. You <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's the... You passed the other test. I don't know. Look at that color on that car. Ooh. I know. Yesterday, some Italian guys beat up my brother in your neighborhood. So what's that have to do with me? My brother's in a car. I told him I was going out with an Italian, so he came along. He recognized you and said you were the one that beat him up. You did that to his face. Jane, I didn't touch your brother. I swear to God, believe me, I didn't touch him. OK, we'll see. Wait! Uh-uh, I'm about to go. Oh, look, she brought him. 
Oh, he was the one that he was trying to hold down. And tell him that he didn't want to hurt him. You know I didn't do anything. You know it was the other guys. What the fuck you was going to top me? It was the other guys that it tried to fucking help you. It was you. It was you. I was the only guy that tried to fucking help you. It was you, man. You fucking repay me like this? Oh, fuck that. No. Fuck you, man. Fuck I didn't see. fucking do anything. Yes, you did. Fuck you, you fucking. Oh. Oh, they messed it all up. See? I just feel like this is still going to continue to escalate, though. Because of that. You saw how they acted when he pulled into their neighborhood. In their neighborhood, exactly. He knew he messed up. As soon as he said it, too, he was like, oh. Uh-oh. Look. <laughs> he like, is that, is that, that's my boy? <laughs> In the red Cadillac, drop top? Woo, that mug is pretty, though. It is. That is a pretty color. I might not have any money. I might not have a Cadillac, but I don't have to look over my shoulder. And I'm proud of what I do, and I don't answer to anybody. My mother and father came to this country with nothing. And, and they died with nothing. Hey, don't you dare disrespect your grandparents. Do you hear me? And you're wrong. They tried to give me a better life, and that's what I'm trying to do. What better life? We don't even own a car. We ain't got money. We ain't got nothing. Don't take it out of me because you're a bus driver. Oh. oh. The man is a sucker. Damn. Look, he said, working man is a sucker. Hey, C, look at these black motherfuckers are doing to our car. You leave the balls on these fucking <laughs> going exit out, smug? Come on, let's go look. Come on, get in the car. We're gonna go fuck them up. Come on, get in the car. What's that smell? Who made those fucking <laughs> a cop? A what? These fucking humans. Oh, I got Molotovs. Oh, gosh. Oh, what is he doing? Oh my gosh. See, out of the car. Come on. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Man. He might have just saved his life. I don't know. Sonny might have been a guardian angel. Right. My brother told me the truth. You did try to help him. Told you. I know, I know, but he took it out on you. It's okay, I understand how we felt. Oh, you looking at mind your own damn business. Get back in your house. <laughs> That's not a kiss. This is a kiss. Oh. Oh, Jane, Jane, no thing or two. Okay. <laughs> oh. She, yeah, got them, she got them juicy lips. <laughs> your brother, where's your car? Give me the keys. Come on, we gotta go. Come on. What are you talking about? Oh, his friends. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. She did it. <laughs> she passed. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Damn. Oh. Oh, babe. Oh, God. Oh, man. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. Man, they gone. And just think about it, he would have been in the car. And it started out as Oh, look. I was in that car. School, man. The boys about to go crazy. Remember, I just, and that's, we said that too. I just, I literally just said yeah, that. I'm that. like, Sonny might have saved his life. I was like, he, he probably was like a guardian angel right now. All I could see was the sky, and nobody could see him but me. Oh God! No! Come in. Oh! The guy that killed Sonny was the son of the man that he killed eight years earlier in front of my house. Oh. 
I just had a feeling. Oh. I just had a feeling that that was Golly. somebody that was related to that guy, which is why he came back and did the same thing. So seeing probably that kid probably like the same age. Mm-hmm. He walked right up and put it right, but point blank range. He didn't even see it coming. Mm. See you around, Sonny. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, and love and memory of Robert De Niro's father. This was like a, it was actually a really good movie. Like, like I, even the ending was a good ending because I knew it had to end somewhere. But I mean, like, dang, as, as, I don't want to say like, as bad as the guy he was, like he was good to him. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like he still learned a lot from him. He gave him a lot of street smarts. Like he learned a lot from that guy. And he, like you said, he saved his life ultimately. Yeah. Sonny was the guy that saved his life and his friends, because his friends were bad influences. And they had, you know, just a bad way of thinking in general, just about people. And obviously, I, I know this was a different time frame. Like, like yeah, you said, there was, was a lot 60s. of racial you know tension I mean? probably still in that point of time. But I mean, like, even to say that, it's just like, you know, Sonny was trying to be a good guy. At the end of the day, and you see, it was like even that still didn't influence like the way he thought about people because he, shoot, he was falling for Jane. Okay, little Jane yeah. Williams just had it going on for him. Jane, Jane, she just had it going on at the end of the day, and it's crazy because you know <laughs> it was always girls like in his neighborhood, but he never would, like say nothing to him. Mm -hmm. Like a couple of the girls that was walking, no, but it was just something about Jane that just something caught his about eye. Jane. You know, and yeah. then and, th and then just think about like at the beginning of the movie, you know when. When C had an opportunity to kind of, I guess you say, like, what you call it, like, rat on him. Yeah, and he did it. And he didn't. So, it was almost like, to a degree, C kind of saved Sonny's life, Sonny's life early, early on. Because yeah. he would have went to prison for the rest of his life. Literally, yeah. You know, so yeah. so you, so you kind of, like, like see that kind of going on. That kind of going, you know, in play early, early on early, in the yeah. movie. But and, it was and, like he looked out for him, And that's him why he too. took him under his wing, too, because yeah. he knew he was like, wow, like that this kid. That kid never said anything. He never said never anything. Cause, and, and he literally looked at me when I did that. Yep. You know, when, when, he, when he killed the guy right in front of the... Got the uh, best look of Right in front anybody. of the stoop, you yep. know what I mean? Yep, looked and, right in his eyes. And, and man, I, I think this is like a phenomenal movie because of the, like, the writing and the story. Yeah. The whole storytelling. And, um, you know, just how you see, like, like the story of, like, an Italian mobster, you know, down with, you know, gangster, like, running his neighborhood. Mm -hmm. But but you see, like, him growing up, seeing what he's seeing as he grows up. But it's just, like, a great tale of, like, having, like, in, in, like you said, in, in some way, having two great men around him as he grew up. He yeah. had his father in his life, mm -hmm. and then he had, like, a real stand-up dude, like, Sonny, too. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, 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 like a real OG. Like, one, <laughs> and, and when I say, like, a real OG, like, like not somebody that's going to, like, tell you to do wrong like he really gonna give you like the game yeah and he was always telling him like go to school like don't end up like me right you know and he was always telling him things like you said giving him like that street smart so it's like he grew up fast but, uh, but he grew up smarter right than all his right. other than all his other friends around him per like a, in a way still influenced him positively you know what i mean like in a way mm -hmm. <laughs> I teeter on that positively part. Yeah. Very lightly. Yeah. But he still, you know what I mean? It was even, a balance. Even at the end, he was like, bring my boy. Come on over. Exactly. That's my boy. Like, you know, like. And he didn't do nobody else like that. Nobody. You know? so, nobody. So that, I feel like that was like, that's just something that you don't see in regards to like an older guy like that bringing like a, a younger kid like that underneath his wing and, and kind of almost trust him. Like Sonny didn't say he didn't trust a lot of people. But I feel like he. I feel like that too, to a degree. He did because he didn't fool with any of the other young mm -hmm. kids in the neighborhood, and it was just something about Sonny. He took him to the to the races, and, and like you said, he, he he saw both sides of like the good and the bad. But it was always like a, a a fine balance between both. Yeah, and even that, like to say that, like he still, even though he had this this relationship with Sonny, I still like I like the fact that he kept a real high regard, like a, a respect for his father, for his family. Like they maintain that relationship, the and, and stuff yeah, that he throughout the entire them. movie. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like I still really admired that part about the movie as well. It was like he he was still like this bad boy, but he was a good man. Like you know, good. yeah, street smarts. And he still had like great common sense, but like you said, as far as like when it comes down to somebody's heart, 
And, yeah. you, and you could tell, like, you could tell that between his friends, mm-hmm. cause, because all his friends was like, yo, they want to jump on the black guys and stuff like that when somebody come in the neighborhood. And it's, it's all about, like, when, when you're in the streets or, or you, you know, you're growing up, and, and it's all about yep. who you're going to follow and, and who gives you the best guidance. And you saw, like, his friends, nobody really was guiding them. Right. Right, exactly. And like you said, Sonny was, I mean, Sonny, C was probably the only one that, like, had a, a you know, father figure in his life doing everything that he was doing and working hard. And he was like, you know, even still, like, he, he knew his father didn't have a lot, but he still had a lot of respect for him A lot at of the respect, too. What yeah. a great movie! This was a good movie. This was a good movie. I just, I just like how they get how you saw like, like, mm. like the street life, like the Italian street life in, in the early Bronx, and then you kind of saw like the racial tension. I, I just like how they, how you had how they kind of brought those two like dichotomies together, and you could still see that, and and still it, it'd be like a, a love story between you know this Italian boy and, and the, this black girl mm-hmm. from the other side of town. Yep. And it, and it's just like at the end of the day, and love both has of them no color. Saw past that, you know? Yeah, because even the even Jane, she was like, I like Italian. I like Italians. Yeah, and, and, and when was, she said that, she kind of <laughs> she kind of blew me back for a second because I'm just like all these other guys in her neighborhood. Yeah, they she could talk to. She she wouldn't talk to, and the same thing for him in his neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. He like black girls. She and, said, you know? "I like Italians." <laughs> okay, she, that that ain't no kiss. Yeah. That's not how you're supposed to kiss. Like, right. This is how you can. I know. And then she passed the test. We, we were like, no way. He passed the test. Man, I don't even know. And so I was like, man, did I, did I, did I even pass the door? T- I never even, I, I never got the challenge. I don't think, okay? I, paid, I, don't think I paid attention to you the You always door had test. the the doo doo. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I never, I don't, you know. <laughs> We had, we, we had a whole lot of other tests that we had to pass that that was not one of them. You all know right, what I mean? All right. This was a great but movie. But yeah, this was phenomenal. You dropped a turret too. I did. Yeah. I did at the end, like when he was just paying his respects to Sonny, then his father came in. It was just, it was a good movie. Heartfelt yeah. for sure. Yeah. Like I, you know, I, it wouldn't be a movie I, I would have like chosen just probably because of like somebody would have tried to tell me what it was about. But like watching it, I'm mm-hmm. like, you got to see this movie. I don't know how you hadn't seen this movie. Yeah. It was a great movie. And it had, Absolutely and it great And it had a great cast line. of actors in this, too. Yeah. Robert De Niro. Uh, you didn't really see Joe, Joe Pesci. To but, the end. But Sonny, I don't know who that who played his part. I didn't look to see uh, who played Sonny's part. But he, he's another actor that's kind of revered, too, that's been in, in, in a handful of movies, really? too. Really? Because I feel like this is the I've first time him. I've seen him before. I've seen him before somewhere. Yeah. So y'all tell me if... Well, maybe y'all. Y'all know I ain't seen nothing, okay? Yeah. So I, <laughs> I feel tap, like this is the first time I've yeah. seen him. We need y'all to tap in with us with this one. Drop some comments. Let let us know how y'all feel about this movie because this is definitely one of the movies. Just because, like, with the, with like like with the gangster story, the street life, and then like yeah. love at the same time. This is definitely a movie I probably will watch over and over again. I would watch it know? again. I absolutely will. Yeah. and I would recommend it also. So yeah, y'all, shout out to the fam for this. Okay, great recommendation as well. Great request. Absolutely. Um, and if y'all enjoyed it, be sure you give us a big thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, smash the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asia and BJ. And if ain't nobody else told you, I love you, and we're gonna see y'all in the next video yo absolutely it ain't nothing like ending the night with a really really good movie yeah and this was really really good oh, i feel like this like a date night too like a little date night movie yeah <laughs> it, it gave you that vibe too oh and then like the music too we didn't talk oh, about no. the music oh yeah the, that was music the music was oh yeah yeah the music mm, mm, oh, mm, boy. Mm, mm. the whole soundtrack to this movie man we gotta get the soundtrack i bet you there's a soundtrack to this movie yeah they play all the greats yeah y'all yeah. okay i just that part so yeah okay we left, that out. We left the music out <laughs> It was, was one of the biggest parts. Yeah, it was. <laughs> okay, y'all, for real this time. We out of here. I love y'all. Mwah. <laughs> Bye, y'all. That was good.